I need to get some more mobs around here, right? If I was to do forward slash summon sheep and then hit this guy. This yeah, the sheep goes up too. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, little guy. I cannot believe we are in the year 2022. A Minecraft Bedrock Edition still doesn't have the ability to combine banners and shields together. So I decided today's video, I bring you more shields to Minecraft. Each one of these have special abilities. This was created by Lord Rayan. I'll leave a link down below as to where you can download this and also where you can check him out. I've checked out a lot of add-ons and creations by this guy. He's pretty talented. But seriously though, is anybody else incredibly annoyed how like it's been a very long time and we still just can't do this? I still can't do it. I still cannot combine these together. Like the vanilla shield, it's so boring. Come on Minecraft, like change it up a little bit, please. That's a parity change we deserve to see. I hear you guys like fun facts, fun fact of the day. The Minecraft Shield was introduced to Minecraft Bedrock Edition in the 1.10.0 update. Guess when that was released? That was released on March 19th, 2019. Pretty much three years ago. We still don't have banner shields. The first one we have today is called the Torch Shield. Check this out. You literally have a torch on your shield and yes, at night time, it lights up. I gotta turn off RTX to show you this, so let's do that. Torches are overrated in Minecraft anyway. Now if you guys wanna craft this, you need a shield and you need one torch. Now this is not a shapeless recipe. It has to be here and has to be here. You can't put it anywhere else, which is kind of unfortunate, but you put it there and the outcome is going to be this. And as you guys can see, it emit emits light around you and you can just travel and explore as much as you like, like, why would I want to take several stacks of torches when I go to a cave, like, down here, you know? Like, I'm, I'm, I don't want to do that. What's it like underwater, though? Now, this could be good. See, it is, I don't notice too much difference underwater. Which is actually a pretty cool mechanic, to be fair. So, you should get out of here, though. You light this up. So, if anyone who likes to use it in your offhand, this is absolutely perfect. And yes, it still lights up the cave if it's in the offhand. Why not bring another use to cactuses. This is the cactus shield and this is the, the way you make it. So inside the crafting recipe in, in here, you gotta make it like this and the outcome is this. Now, today in this video, we're gonna be using husks for demonstration. So how this works is when you defend against a mob, as you can see, this mob kind of takes like thorns damage, right? Now, unfortunately here, it looks like we are still hit with the hunger ability, but you can see that this has some kind of prickly damage to the mob. So we just stand here and hit him. Eventually, he's gonna get himself killed. Although, he does seem to take a little bit of time to die. But obviously in this moment, you'd have a sword or something else to hit this guy with. So I really like this one. I wonder what happens if you do it to like a sheep. No, cause sheeps don't attack you. So this is, Typically good for things that are going to try and injure you. This is the iron shield. Now this one's a little bit stronger, but very similar to previously. Whenever you hit a mob, it just inflicts damage to them. Now I'm curious though, because this one's obviously iron. So this one should technically be a little bit stronger. Oh, you can hear the noise. Oh, you can definitely hear it. It makes like a clunking sound. This one should definitely be stronger than the cactus one though, because this one's obviously made of iron. Same rules apply if it's in your offhand as well. They're getting better. This one is the magma shield. And again, very similar recipe to the previous ones I've showed you. There's a lot more that I need to show you with different recipes and different attributes as well. This is the magma shield and one of my favorite ones at that. Although, if I had one request, it would be that if I'm protecting myself, we should not take any damage from any mobs. Such as like being hit with the hunger effect. So that's one change I, I definitely agree with. Now let's do forward slash summon. Let's summon a ravager, right? So let's see how we defend against this guy. All right, there you go. See, like he doesn't injure me. Right? So technically he's biting me, right? This guy's big though. I mean, he is biting me, technically. 
So if the husk is able to hit me, how come this guy isn't able to hit me, you know? Come on, bro. You go get, you get, you're getting diced up. Dude, I literally go inside of his head. He's trying, he's trying all different angles on me. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, he should die very soon. Well, yeah, the magma is one of my favorite one. Um, especially the ability to take down ravages that easily. So if you're checking this out in survival, this one's going to be something that you earn at a later date in your game. Because this is the Shulker Shield, and it does exactly what you're thinking it's going to do. It will, in fact, levitate mobs. But again, you need Shulker Shells in order to do this. So let's get a let's get a couple of these guys, right? Let's just move you. Let's get a couple of these guys. Come on. Oh, he's got a baby on there. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait, I gotta try, like, I need to get some more mobs around here, right? If I was to do forward slash summon sheep and then hit this guy. This yeah, the sheep goes up too. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, little guy. Oh, wait, you would chill out, bro. Yo, these guys, yeah, they just go up and up and up and up. They should die now, though. Well, the, don't, no, you killed that. Hey, that was the husk's fault. It wasn't me. I really like this one. This one's super cool. <laughs> the little guy survived, though. He was using, he was using, come on, come to me. Hey, wait, what the? He disappeared. Oh no, wait, did he attach to him? He did attach to him. Yeah, so the Shulker one is one of my favorite ones. Let's do forward slash summon iron golem. Let's hit him. Oh, you going up, big guy. You going up. You going up and up and up. All right, this little guy also needs to die. Come on. You need to go up now. Did he go up? There we go. Why are you not going up? Go. Go, 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 go. Yes. Goodbye, big dude. I really like this one. One of my favorite ones. I haven't quite tested this one on any mobs, but this one is the slime shield, which I believe is meant to bounce the mobs incredibly far. Let's test with our good old friend, the Iron Golem. Come on. Nope. Doesn't. Doesn't quite seem to be interested. Okay, before he kills me, let's try it through the husk. I think this one was meant to, like, bounce them away. Oh, okay, they do. Hey, 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 hey. Come on now, let's be friends. I know you're heavy. I promise you, nothing happened to him. Okay, let's do this again. This is actually really, really cool. You can actually bounce these incredibly far. Go! Oh, dude, that's actually really cool. I really like that one. Let's go. Get away. Get away, get away from my island. Go away. I don't like you. This is one way to get rid of the Hey, there's a there's a hole there's a there's a hole there. Let's get him in the hole. Go! Did he go in? Yeah, he did! You're next, bro. You are next. Go, 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 go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. You guys can stay there. I believe the Amethyst Shield can give you many different abilities, including stunning, reflection. I think like a speed boost as well. I got to remember how to do this. I think it's this way and that goes in there and then that comes out and then I think it gives you like special attributes over certain times. So that one gave that one gave me like speed ability. Okay, we can go fast there. What about what else we got? What else we got on this one? So different different things can happen to you. I don't mind going fast though. Like, yo, we fast, bro. We are. Look at this one. This one looks really cool. I should probably show you guys what they look like as well on, on the character. They actually look really, really cool. That's that one. Then we've also got the iron one. We've also got the cactus one, which I think I showed you the cactus one, but they look really, really cool when you're holding them. I like how this is how it switches. Amethyst one looks really awesome. And then we've got the slime one. And then we also got the Shulker one as well. So I think they look brilliant. Each one's been done really well. Slime one. <laughs> looks like cheese. Green cheese. And then we got the Shulker one. And then obviously the Amethyst one. Where'd he go? Yo, come back. Come back to me. There you go. That one didn't do nothing. That one's giving me speed again. I gotta, I gotta eat some of this. I, I feel having the ability to be... Uh, giving the hunger effect it ruins it a little bit not not majorly as we know the vanilla shield in minecraft It's it's not great and it can be a little bit expensive to make well There's actually an alternative one and this one is just a cheaper version now I actually haven't seen how strong this one is it is just a cheaper version of a shield does the same thing It's just cheaper to make Especially if you're in like, I don't know, a hard world and you were struggling at the start. At least you can make one of these. Now in terms of what it looks like, this is what it looks like. Kind of looks like a, 
an old Viking medieval styled one. So that one's incredibly cheap to make, but we have an even cheaper one. And that's this one, which seems to be a little bit bugged in item frames. Now with your wood variations, put them in a cross exactly like this. However, with each hit, it has a 10% chance of being broken. So with this one, it can break very easily, cheaper and just easy to use for a limited time. This is the netherite shield, and this one is crafted with netherite and warped. You can use either variations of netherwoods to do this, by the way. We're just using this one, for example, and this one grants fire resistance. So when we're in this crouch mode, you'll see here we are given the fire resistance uh, ability. So if I was to do forward slash summon blaze and he was to attack me, which he should do. Come on, little blazy. Come on, dude, hit me. As you can see, it nothing happens. But even if he, even if I'm crouching and he hits me, come on, 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 come on. Fire the, dude. They're so bad on this game. Anyway, it just grants you fire resistance. Now I'm gonna go to game mode creative here. I'm gonna grab myself a sword because I don't trust this guy. He's not gonna burn down my world. And what I want to do here is get myself some lava. I want to put some lava down. Right, like this. And we're gonna go back to game mode survival. And I'm gonna get in here with this. As you can see, I have fire resistance, but as soon as I stop, the fire resistance will run out. So you gotta be careful with this one. I think it's when you have the crouching ability, that's when it's granted. And you can put this in your offhand, which is, honestly, I feel like it's a riot shield. It's definitely like a riot shield, but you have to be in that crouch mode in order for it to take effect. Otherwise, you'll burn. I'm gonna let you guys go and explore the final few. This one is a blackstone gold shield, and what this one will do is grant you protection and passage against piglins. I think also including brute piglins as well. This is the diamond shield, and the diamond shield will protect you against negative effects such as wither, poison, slowness, and weakness as well. So if I was to go to game mode survival, forward slash summon stray, you'll probably shoot me. I I'm protected against these abilities. Usually, if I was like this, as you can see, we get given slowness. We bring this out, slowness. Come on, slowness is removed. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's how that one works. This will protect you against the evoker. You can actually be protected against their fangs. So if we do forward slash summon evoker, and we do, come on, we need to summon the evoker illager. Here you go. And we do this. Yes, his fangs are gonna come at us, but we will be protected. Also, these little guys will protect against them as well. But as you can see, we are protected against absolutely everything this thing throws at us. Let's go and get it. I don't think so, bro. And then obviously you've got it. Hey, he's fast though. Oh my god, he's actually incredibly fast. But yeah, yeah, you can get your totems a lot easier with this. Last but not least, we have the Oak Iron Shield. And this is just, again, a better alternative than the original. Using either iron, gold, or copper surrounded by this will give you different variations. This in the middle, these go around the outside, and then you can make the copper one. You can also make a gold variation. And of course, you can make yourself the iron one. The oak shield is very similar to the regular shield that we have in Minecraft. However, when it's storming, this one can summon lightning. So you got a husk here. As soon as he hits me, it's gonna get struck by lightning. Now, of course, we're in a savannah. It doesn't thunder in this biome, so. Yeah, I mean, it's a great way to kill these mobs, but be very careful because you will set everything on fire. Gold, very similar to the other one that I showed you. This one will help you against piglins and brutes. And the iron one, it's just regular. It's just an alternative from the original. So yeah, screw you Minecraft for not adding banner shields to Minecraft because the community has went ahead and introduced cool things instead. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you want to check out everything that I showed you, there's a link down below. Have a great day. Stay wonderful. I'll see you all in the next video. Animations doesn't work with RTX. How awkward.